Hi class here, just want to do a quick video, kind of a progress update video. Uh, got a whole bunch of chests open. I got another giant chest. I feel like I've been getting a lot of giant chests lately, so I don't know if they've changed the algorithm to give those out more frequently, but I feel like I'm doing giant chests all the time lately. So, we'll do some of those videos. Got a first place attorney chest open. Um, kind of point out we got the Electro Wizard challenge coming up in three days. I thought the Crown Duel challenge was a lot of fun. Hopefully we can do this new challenge within our uh, friendly battles as well because that's a ton of fun. But basically it looks like you can pick from any deck or any cards you want, even ones you don't have in this challenge, um, as long as you use the Electro Wizard. So that should be a fun challenge <clears throat> and a good way to kick them off and probably drive some some shop purchases. Um, our clan is doing really good in the clan chest. We're already up to level 4 and we're not even uh, through the first day here, so... I'm pretty confident we'll be able to get to the level 10. But when that does, we'll definitely do that opening on the channel so we can check that out. There should be a lot of cool videos to kind of see how good those chests really are. Um, still got all the cards in the game because I got the graveyard, uh, the shop. Um, can't really afford to keep this giant chest until uh, <laughs> the uh, these new cards come out, so we're just going to open them. Um, got the graveyard in the shop again, but I don't have the gold. Um, basically going to save up to about 60000 again so I can be ready for the Electro Wizard. And uh, probably the next card I upgrade will be ooh, the Zaps 50000 Wow, that's crazy. So I don't know, maybe I'll do uh, Archers or, or Royal Giant or something like that with the, the gold in the next upgrade. We'll have to see. So I'm um, still rocking this Lava Hound deck. Let's pop open some chests. I'll go through these pretty quick, see if we get something good here. Nothing too exciting there. Some RGs and Infernos. Elite Barbarians are just stacking up on me. They definitely are a lot uh, more formidable card now. That's a cool card, the Epic, the Balloon. It's just got a big buff. So that's a nice Epic card to get. Um, pretty basic. I definitely like the way that the... Uh, <clears throat> They've kind of updated the uh, the amount of cards you get in the higher arenas now. Now that they added that new jungle arena that's coming out, getting even more and more cards for being a legendary arena, which is nice. You can definitely see getting quite a few cards in these chests. If I had more gold, I'd be upgrading those the barbarians. Hmm. All right, let's, uh, let's see what's going on here. I'll donate a fireball. Uh, let's go ahead and do this tourney chest quick. 25 cards in here. More elite barbs. Three muskies. Minions. Not a bad chest. All right. <clears throat> Getting those gems back up there. I mean, it seems like you get elite barbarians in. Every single chest, it seems like. Bunch of hog riders. Not too bad. Not a bad chest. Let's see what's in the giant chest. <clears throat> Whole bunch of gold. We'll take that. Some guards. Born Furnos. And look at all them barbarians. Got those for days. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't buy the special pack and spend the gems on that. Totally feel justified not buying. Uh, the special pack for the common card. So I think in the future I would avoid any special common card packs because you're just going to get them and they're pretty easy to get. So it's more about the gold to upgrade them than actually getting the cards, I think. So um, I guess I do want to show uh, one pretty cool replay from earlier today. Um, I guess the other thing I wanted to highlight is that I actually did finish above 4,000 this last season, which is the first time I've done that. So I added, I don't know, like seven more legendary trophies and that's the first time I got to be part of the uh, 4,000 uh, cup reset and uh, so got a new uh, best high um, season and the reset at 4,000 was could be is tough <laughs> you face some really high players here um, <clears throat> where's this one guy here that three crowned me absolutely destroyed me look at this guy here he had two level four legendaries uh, Level 10 rare, level 13 commons, a level 3 log, and a level 7 epic scaly discarmy. So, I mean, his card is just... I just couldn't do anything. <laughs> he just overpowered me. But this was a pretty cool replay here. <clears throat> um, we'll watch it. It's pretty unique. Don't want to spoil it, but this was a really cool replay, so I thought I'd show it. Um, 
you can see he's playing an elite barbarian hog rider cycle deck uh, with a tornado I'm still sticking with my lava hound deck um, so I defended pretty well on his first hog rider push shut it down um, thought I had a really good counter push going but his tornado completely crushed that so um, the tornado card is definitely a nice counter to my deck at times Try to be a good sport about it. So I'm sending the Lava Hound. And then he comes in with the Elite Barbs, which is a great play to brush that other tower. And I didn't have a good counter. I probably should have dropped my Inferno Dragon there, but I didn't realize how much damage they would do. <laughs> so I wish I would have played that a little differently because um, that pretty much wiped out my tower. And I thought I would have gotten a little further. But again, his tornado shut down, which was, would have been a really good push there. Um, you know, my uh, Inferno Dragon was about to melt his tower. <clears throat> so he's definitely sitting pretty good here. Um, so I tried, knowing that he just used his tornado, I tried another mini push with my uh, minions and miner. Do get a little more damage, but not quite as much as I'd hoped. Here comes another Hog Rider. And it didn't really play that one well. I didn't want to put my Tombstone down because I figured the Bomber just would have roasted it. Maybe that wasn't a good play. Again, you can see how the Tornado really does the work on those pups. So I had to fireball that bomber and chip the tower that time. Doing a pretty good job of shutting down his uh, hog pushes. Um, again, he comes with the uh, elite barbarians. They take down my tower. Um, but I get a good push here, taking down his tower just a moment after that. Not the best use of the tornado there, probably. Um, so we shut down each other's pushes. He's got a little bit of a lead on the tower here. We're in sudden death. I got two dragons barreling down on this tower. He counters with the hog rider. I try zapping it, but that bomber finishes it off. And we actually both took out the second tower at the same time in overtime. So that was the wow. That was the cool part of this video. Um, and then we're going to battle here for uh, trying to get the three crown here. Waste a little bit of elixir there. Um, both playing pretty good defense here. Uh, trying to get a big push the other way. And then again, you see the tornado pretty much saved his tower from getting three crowned right there. Um, and again, he keeps just getting distractions down in the nick of time against that Inferno Dragon. Um, and I kind of keep doing the same thing <laughs> with my Tombstone and other troops uh, on the other end. So I thought that was a pretty cool replay worth watching. You don't see uh, overtime ties that uh, both you take out the tower and keep it going uh, to a draw. So I thought that was a unique replay. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, some unique cards there. Uh, let's see here. So we keep piling up the chests here. Another four added to the pot. Um, so there you go. Well, hey, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, look, be looking for a clan chest opening video here in a few days. Looks like we'll get to level 10 here shortly. So, hey, thanks for watching, everybody. Um, take it easy.